Happy New Year, minions. So, we did it. 4,000 minions subscribe to the John Smith channel. A special thank you goes out to Liz Marie on Facebook for helping us get the last few subs. Anyway, I'm here to spoil more Christian movies. Today, I will totally be spoiling the Red Tent miniseries that was recently on Lifetime a few weeks ago. For those of you who aren't familiar with the story, the Red Tent miniseries is based on a book of the same name, written by Anita Diamant. The story focuses on Dina, or Dinah. I think she's called Dina in the miniseries. We'll go with that. She's in that wacky family, the Jacob Bunch. You remember, at the end of Genesis. But up, but up, up, up. Here's a story of a man named Jacob who was busy with four wives of his own. They had 12 sons living all together and one daughter. That's the way they all became the Jacob Bunch. Our cast includes bunch of white people with a few not white people sprinkled in. Did somebody say sprinkle, sprinkle? Ugh, Looney Tunes, get out of here. You're not in this one. You're in the last one. So Dina is played by Mission Impossible 5 chick. Yup, they're filming it, kiddies. Leah is played by Goodwill Hunting chick. How you like them apples? Rachel's played by Serenity chick. Shiny. Papa Jacob is played by Game of Thrones dude. Rebecca is played by that chick from Officer and a Gentleman. Remember that nude scene? And then we've got Joseph, who's played by other Game of Thrones dude. And Prince Shalom is played by Not A White Dude. I guess Not A White Dude apparently also was in the Bible miniseries, playing a pharaoh or something, of course, because, you know, Not A White Dude. Okay, so Game of Thrones Dude goes to Unky Laban's place and makes a deal with Unky Laban. I'll work for you, Unky Laban, if I can marry my cousin, Serenity Chick. Yep, you heard that right. He wanted to marry his cousin. So we're clear on that. So he works for him for a while, and right about the time of the wedding, Serenity Chick has cold feet about the sexy time, and so they hatch this plan where Goodwill Hunting Chick puts the veil on and goes and has a sexy time with Game of Thrones dude, and Game of Thrones dude is okay with it. I don't know. Just go with it. Stay with me. It's complicated. So Game of Thrones dude and his new wife, how do you like them apples, come up with this plan so that Game of Thrones dude can also marry Serenity Chick. Ugh. He also gets two more wives in the mix as well. So Unky Laban's feeling pretty cheated out of daughters that he had to marry off to his nephew. All the women in camp all hang out in this big red tent. No sexy pillow fights or anything. Just a lot of talk about Aunt Flo visiting. And of course, the women all worship idols in the tent in secret and birth a bunch of babies. They all seem to get the midwifery skills. So Game of Thrones dude gets to have lots of sexy time with his cousin wives and Goodwill Hunting Chick is popping out kids like a Pez dispenser. Serenity Chick is all sad though because she's not getting pregnant. So eventually, Serenity Chick does get pregnant, pops out a kid named Joseph. And Goodwill Hunting Chick gives birth to Mission Impossible Girl. Mission Impossible Chick grows up to be a willful, empowered young woman in the Biblical Bronze Age, of course, and the bluest eyed white chick in the Middle East. Remember, kitties, she barely gets a mention in the Bible, so I'm really glad she gets her very own two part miniseries here. Fast forward a bit, and Unky Laban's a pretty surly drunk, and he commits some domestic violence on his sex slave slash wife or whatever. Game of Thrones dude is hesitant to step in, but eventually Game of Thrones dude and Unky Laban almost come to blows. Game of Thrones dude decides it's time to take his family to greener pastures, so to speak. At least metaphorically, anyway, since they seem to be raising sheep in the desert somehow. I don't raise sheep, so I don't know how that works. Anyway, the Jacob Bunch packs up all their crap, and on the way to their new home... Game of Thrones dude has to reconcile with his brother that he stole his birthright from for a bowl of soup. Plus, Game of Thrones dude has to see his mom, Nude Scene. So Nude Scene is a fortune teller or something and is bilking the locals out of their stuff. Mission Impossible Chick starts calling her out on it. Nude Scene doesn't like that very much, so she tells Mission Impossible Chick her fortune and says, This one's on me, you're not going to have a pretty good fortune. So the Jacob Bunch ends up in Shechem. And Mission Impossible Chick 
sees Prince not a white dude. It's love at first sight. A little later on, guards from Prince not a white dude's family come to the Jacob Bunch's camp because they need a midwife. Serenity Chick and Mission Impossible Chick go to the palace and help with the baby birthing. Mission Impossible Chick and Prince not a white dude meet again, get married according to the customs of Prince not a white dude, and have the sexy time. Whoa, that was fast. When the rest of the Jacob Bunch hear about this, Game of Thrones dude and his sons are not happy because Game of Thrones dude was not consulted and did not get a chance to give his consent. Prince not a white dude's dad tells Game of Thrones dude, Hey dude, what are you going to do? They've already had the sexy time. Look man, I'll give you any bride price you want. So Game of Thrones dude consults with his sons, who are mostly all insulted too. Except for Joseph, played by a young sexy Game of Thrones dude, who jokingly says, What are you guys going to make him do, cut off his foreskin or something? And his brothers are like, Hey, that's a great idea. Let's make the whole palace of dudes cut the skin off their peepees. Young sexy Game of Thrones dudes are like, Dudes, I was just kidding. So Prince, not a white dude, and his dad make everybody in the palace cut the skin off their peepees. Mission Impossible chick's pretty pissed off at the rest of the Jacob Bunch for demanding this of her new hubby Prince, not a white dude. I bet you can't guess what happens next. While all of Prince, not a white dude's male subjects are all helpless with sore peepees, there's just no other way to sugarcoat this, minions. Asshole brother number one and asshole brother number two come into the palace and murder pretty much everyone. Mission Impossible chick wakes up next to her dead husband, Prince Not a White Dude, and she's covered in his blood. So she starts screaming and crying, and her asshole brothers come in and kidnap her and wrap her in a blanket and take her back to Daddy Game of Thrones, dude. And that ends part one, minions. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Wacky Adventures of the Jacob Bunch. <laughs>